Thompson. Good morning. Before we, uh, we start, um, I would just like to say that I'm very gratified that we have such an outpouring of support and generosity and love here in Nassau County for what is really uh, a catastrophe in Turkey and parts of Syria, where tens of thousands of people have lost their lives, others, millions of people that have been displaced from their homes. And we have a large Turkish American community here in Nassau County, and we wanted to offer our support and our help um, in their recovery efforts because it's such a profound natural disaster. And I think it's important that we in Nassau County let other people know throughout the United States that they can help and that it's important that they help. Here in Nassau County, we have a population of close to 1.5 million people. We are larger than 10 states in population, and we have a very diverse community. But what gives me great pride in being county executive is that we have such a generous and kind population where we celebrate our diversity and that we stand together in events like this so that we can show solidarity. So I'm joined here today uh, by some very important people and some friends. First, I want to thank the, the Turkish Consul General, Rehan Azgar, for being with us today. I want to thank my dear friend, my brother, Zakir Dem. He is a immigrant from Turkey who came here and celebrated the American dream by building up his restaurant and media empire. Uh, many of you know him from the HBO series, Serving the Hamptons. Also, I'm here with my director of Asian American Affairs, Aruj Islam, my senior advisor on Muslim affairs, Manny Akram, our great controller, Elaine Phillips, legislator, Mazi Pillip, Supervisor Joe Saladino from Oyster Bay, Supervisor Jen DeSena from the town of North Hempstead, the Oyster Bay Receiver of Taxes, Jeff Provado, Councilwoman Laura Meyer, and Jose Dominguez from the Red Cross, who I'll talk to you on ways in which we can help out. If I miss anybody, I apologize. But I did want to say that the relief effort goes on. Uh, I'm sure many of you saw in the media that there were two brothers that were rescued after 200 hours in the rubble. So the rescue effort goes on and the recovery effort will go on for months, if not years. So again, uh, I, I want to say how much I appreciate um, everybody is, uh, I appreciate everybody for coming here and, and joining in this effort, and we're going to talk about ways that you can help through the American Red Cross. Uh, but before I, I go on any further, I want to introduce my very dear friend. Um, he started out as a goat farmer in Turkey, had a dream to come to America, came here and has built uh, a tremendous business uh, in New York City and here on Long Island. And um, he's the one that sparked this uh, relief effort. Uh, our good friend, Zach Dem. Where's Zach? Zach, come on in. Hello, everybody. Hi, um, everyone. My name is Zach Ardem. I'm a Turkish citizen. And uh, I came to America 2002 to follow up my dreams. I had my dream to come in this country and make it here. As we all know, um, I approach my dreams, by the way, in this country. It can happen in, only in America. But there is many of Turks that um, have a hard time now to find a glass of water or a piece of bread to eat. And at 4 o'clock in the middle of the night, people are sleeping. And uh, the biggest disaster hit our nation. Most of the people only left their home with their pajamas and uh, small, probably, stuff on them. The rest of the stuff was under the, all the rebels, and no one ever went back to their houses. So everyone is now most likely homeless. I was one time homeless when I came to this country, but it was my own decision. These people are uh, homeless because of the natural disaster. 
natural disasters don't have um, region or uh, language or any. We all together on this. And I appreciate everyone, Bruce Blackman, one of my brother, and organizing this, I approached him as a Turkish citizen. I thought we should do something about those people as much as possible. So as you know, you go to Starbucks every morning, you spend $20 for two coffee and sandwich. That $20 in Turkey, where this uh, natural disaster took place, people one week salary, $20. That $20 you're probably gonna donate today, you're probably not gonna go to Starbucks for one day, but that will be, a lot of people are gonna benefit back in Turkey in those numbers. Please um, help us, help Turkey as much as you can. Everybody in Baghdad, they need the help. People wake up with the big disaster. It's the national, national uh, biggest disaster problem in this modern country now. Um, anybody, anything is count. Um, they're gonna tell you about the world, you can donate the money stuff, but please put your hand on your heart. See what's going on back there. Turkey, Syria, it's all, we're all together. Animals, human beings, we're all same. So help as much as you can. And again, Bruce, thank you very much for organizing this. Yeah, my brother. Thanks, Thank Ed. you very much for coming. Thank you. So um, again, we're showing our solidarity with the Turkish people. And I'm very honored that he took time out of his busy schedule with all that's going on to come here to Nassau County. Um, many world leaders don't understand what a large community we have here in Nassau County, but they're starting to. We've had visitors from South Korea, from Israel, um, from uh, Taiwan, from uh, Panama, the Dominican Republic, Costa Rica, all um, high officials who've come here because they realize that this is a very important community. So we're very honored to have with us today his Excellency Rehan Azgur, who will say a few words on behalf of the Turkish government and the Turkish people. Good morning, everyone. I would like to start by thanking to Nassau County Executive uh, Mr. Bruce Blakeman for organizing uh, this press conference because it's a good opportunity to express what's happening back in Turkey. As I already mentioned, uh, the earthquake that happened back in Turkey and Syria in terms of uh, devastation, it's unprecedented. And in the last hundred years, our country, Turkey, has never witnessed such kind of a uh, big disaster, such kind of a big devastation. And that's why the Turkish government has announced a uh, call for an international aid. And so far, with the help of our uh, friends all around the world, we are and continue to gather the uh, most needed materials to send back to Turkey. And as already mentioned, Nassau County is hosting this maybe the second largest Turkish population in terms of concentration in the United States after uh, New Jersey. And from the first moment of the earthquake, I started to receive the calls for help from my people, from Turkish Americans, from our American friends, and they were constantly asking how they could be helpful. And with their help, so far we have collected around 450 tons of materials, and 85 tons of it was uh, shipped back to Turkey with air cargo. And 400 tons of uh, aid materials waiting to be shipped with sea from the port of Elizabeth in New Jersey in the next coming days. So taking this opportunity, once again, I would like to thank to all elected officials. I would like to thank to the uh, Office of the County Executive for organizing this, uh, this press conference. And I would like to uh, end my, <coughs> my speech with uh, making a uh, reference to the eight materials that we are in most need right now. Right at the moment, we are in need with uh, blankets, mostly and also with the uh, winter tents for shelter that are suitable for the uh, winter conditions back in the region. And just to imagine the uh, scale of the devastation, the area that's impacted by the, by the earthquake is uh, like the area of a country of Netherlands or Switzerland. So the area is very wide, so that's why we need a very urgent response. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Thanks. Thank
Uh, we have two chief executive officers here of uh, large communities in Nassau County. I want to start off with my dear friend who's a tireless worker and who is supporting this effort 100% from the town of Oyster Bay Supervisor Joe Saladino. Hi, I'm Joe Saladino, the town of Oyster Bay Supervisor. I'm here with members of our team, including Councilwoman Laura Meyer and our receiver Jeff Provado. Thank you to both of you for being here. But the big thanks should go to our county executive, Bruce Blakeman. His sense of humanity is amazing. His leadership is unparalleled. We're coming here as one of the largest counties anywhere in America to show support, to ask for assistance, and to embrace our brothers and sisters from Turkey and Syria, just like we've been doing for the people of Ukraine. It is the right thing to do. The people of Turkey understand hardship. The red of the Turkish flag is for the bloodshed of the people of that country over many battles. They fought hard. It's a cosmopolitan country and a cosmopolitan city, actually Istanbul, as we know, half in Europe, half in Asia, separated by the Bosphorus River. But the people need our help. We're among the richest people and county and American in the world. And it's our job to follow the leadership of Bruce Blakeman and Nassau County to make a difference for those who need our help. So please know that we are all unified to help you. If you're Turkish living in this country, we embrace you. And for the people who need our help, the devastation we watch on the nightly news, we are here to ask America to make a difference. God bless the people of Turkey and Syria. God bless them and all the hardship they're going through and may God help them to find the resolve and may we continue to help our brothers and sisters on the other side of the world. Thank you, Supervisor. And uh, just to the north of here, we have our great supervisor from the town of North Hempstead, Jen DeSena. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I'm Jennifer DeSena, the North Hempstead Town Supervisor, and I'm so glad that everybody is here together to tell the people of the town of North Hempstead and Nassau County how we can help. We are watching in horror, not only as the number of casualties has grown, but as other people remain homeless, families walking around homeless. If we don't help them quickly, the number of casualties will escalate so much more. So thank you to everybody who acted quickly. Thank you, County Executive, for bringing us together to tell us how we can help because we want to. We are a diverse community and we want to help our brothers and sisters in need. So God bless you all in Turkey and Syria and uh, God bless all of us in this, in this world. Thank you. So uh, now to uh, tell us how we can help and make a meaningful contribution uh, to the efforts in Turkey, we have a great partnership with the Red Cross here in Nassau County. I'll, I'll never forget what they did for my family uh, during 9-11 when I, I lost my nephew who was uh, killed in the line of duty evacuating Tower 2. Um, the Red Cross was awesome and amazing to my family and to so many others. They're always there in times of need. So to tell you how you can help uh, is Jose Dominguez, who is the CEO of the Long Island chapter of the Red Cross. Jose? Who's Jose? Yep. Jose, ship it up here. This is Ming Chang, one of our board members. Thank you. I'm very humbled to be amongst some very, very mighty people behind me and in front of me. So thank you all very much for having us. I don't know really what to say as far as my own personal thoughts. I'm very, um, you know, every now and then we take for granted what we have in front of us. And then one day, you know, it can just be taken away from us without even knowing. So the fact that I'm standing up here trying to tell you how to, to contribute and donate, I think you've already heard um, over and over. The Red Cross is a wonderful conduit, obviously, to donate your, um, your, your treasure. 
However, there are many other organizations that are, that are also helping. So please, what I would ask you is to choose a charity of your choice, a charity that you trust. Um, we have been very fortunate to, to receive um, funds for this tragic event. It is catastrophic, as you've heard, you've seen. The glimmer of hope that every time I turn on the TV and see somebody rescued provides me and motivates me to do and try to do and give back in, in many, any way I can. Um, to hear Zach you know, talk about what he just mentioned and saying the perspective and putting it in perspective of what $20 can do is tremendous. So you have my commitment to not buy Starbucks or any type of coffee or tea or whatever you drink, but to really think about where that, that monetary fund is going to go. Um, Redcross.org is a wealth of, of information of what we're doing. We're working with our international federation currently to assess, much like what you've heard here, what is the need. It can become an even bigger disaster if people start uh, donating material goods that are not needed. So be very, very well aware of what is actually needed on the ground and how that's going to be distributed. The cost is phenomenal, as you all know. We've all been uh, dealing with inflation as we deal with uh, current politics and where we're going um, with our economy. So think about that when you're thinking about making a monetary donation or what you're going to buy. How is that going to benefit the organization that you're going to contribute to? Um, it is a very scary thought because, of course, our hearts are open. We're all in pain. I, there hasn't been a day that I, that I turn on the TV, open the paper, and see something as devastating, seeing the numbers escalate of what's happening in Turkey and Syria. And uh, just having communications with our national office in D.C., trying to get talking points to talk in front of you, who are, you're over, you've already seen everything, and trying to read what we can do is pretty, is, it's it's so dynamic and it changes on a daily basis that we really can't keep up. So what I'm asking you to do, all of you, you have a voice behind us. You have all of these wonderful people that are, that are demonstrating such humanity, hum, humanity, basically, in their communities on Long Island, not only here in Nassau, but in Suffolk County as well. You know, the reach is far and wide and throughout the state, throughout our country and globally. That is the beauty and phenomen phenomenal uh, uh, advantage of the American Red Cross, our international federation movement, our Crescent partners that are in Turkey and in Syria. Um, it's, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal relationship that we have, and we can't do it without community supporters like you. If you have any questions of what you can do or how you can contribute through the American Red Cross, redcross.org is the most amazing resource that you can have. And there's tons and wealth of information on that, on that website as well. Any questions, I will be here as well. Thank you all Thank for you, the opportunity. Jose, appreciate it. Really appreciate it. So, um, Jose, don't run away. Um, Redcross.org? Redcross.org. OK, excellent. So um, as I said, uh, we have uh, a lot of people working on this effort here today. <laughs> and to uh, guide us through some things that are going on on the ground in Turkey in real time is my director of Asian American Affairs, the brilliant and hardworking Aruj Islam. Assalamu alaikum. Peace and blessings be upon each and every one of you. We've gathered here today with heavy hearts to mourn the loss of the 40,000 people that we lost in the earthquakes last week in Turkey and Syria and the surrounding regions. But it's truly heartwarming to see all the support we've gotten. So I thank you all for being here today and helping support this humanitarian cause. We all play a part in this and we can all help to change that situation because it, it will take decades to revitalize the cities to what they once were. So I thank you all and I thank you county executive for uniting us all here. And thank you to the legislators and all the officials that are here supporting us. And uh, with that, I will turn it over to um, my sister, Iman Islam again, who is a very close friend actually of Kim and Burak, the Firik family, who was a, New York, a local New York family that we lost when the second earthquake hit Turkey. So she'll share, share a few words. Do you want me to hold the baby or yeah, will we I cry? Want, I want to hold the baby. <laughs> 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 Do you want to take it? <laughs> oh, we got it. <laughs> you look happy here. Okay. And so, you're to be right here. Okay. 
The aftermath of the earthquakes in Turkey and Syria is nothing short of devastating. The toll it has taken on communities and families is immeasurable. I lost a good friend of mine, Kim, her two babies, and her husband, Barak. It was just a short while ago that we shared dinner together and our children played together. They will, they will forever be missed for their kindness, generosity, and community involvement. We regularly spoke about the programs we'd enroll our children in and the hopes and dreams she had for her two beautiful boys. I know she would have raised them to be exceptional human beings. Just like Kim, there are so many families who had hopes and dreams for their children, many of them now orphaned. As a global community, we must come together to make sure that none of them feel left behind. To honor these lost individuals, we must continue to help the men, women, and children on the ground in Turkey and Syria. I want to thank County Executive for shedding a light on this humanitarian crisis. Oh, will the Freak family join us now? Okay, we will now be joined live by the surviving members of the Farik family from the epicenter of the earthquake in Albistan, Turkey. Barak's father and his brother, Nuruddin and Ali Farik. Do we need to kill the lights? Daha sonra enkaz altında kaldılar. Anne, Marilyn, Burak verdi. Yeğenlerim olan Hamzali. They were all caught in the earthquake in different regions of Turkey over the course of when they all hit. Um, the towns where they were hit were all different and they were all caught underneath the rubble and did not make it out, unfortunately. Öncelikli olarak Amerikan altı olarak yalnız ve yer altınız için hepinize ayrı ayrı teşekkür ediyoruz. They would like to thank every single one of you for showing support, whether it be social media, fundraising, or just simply praying for whatever is going on over there and the earthquakes that have hit. And they thank every single one of you for your contributions. They thank you further and furthermore for the donations and contributions you guys have made. The Turkish they are continuously in dire need of working operators and machinery to help people who are still stuck underneath the rubble and to continue to help bring people who are either homeless or still, like I said, stuck underneath it, out into the light, and help everyone that's affected by this situation. They have no words, all they can do is pray pray and pray more and more again and they thank everyone and they can they can all they can really do is pray for the people around them and for themselves so tell them thank you on our behalf thank you so that's all he can say for today yeah so thank you o soracak bir şey var mı merhaba This is Burak's father. He, um, he, he wanted to visit America himself. This is Barak's father. Uh, he wasn't granted a visa to come over here and visit, so his family came over to visit him in Turkey. And in the meantime, the events partaked. Um, being so, 
He wanted to visit America himself, but like I said, could not you know, get the visit approved. But all he can do is just thank everyone around him for the support that's being shown, the prayers that are being said and whatnot. And uh, bizim tarafımızda çok teşekkürler her şey için. Bizi söylediğimiz o durumlar nasıl olduğunu söyleyebiliriz için. Ee, bizim geldiğimiz kadar sizle dua ediyoruz, yardım etmeye çalışıyoruz ve gel elimize geldiği kadar yapmaya çalışıyoruz. He's very upset um, that he couldn't really get to spend as much time with his grandchildren uh, as much as he wished he could have. But he's thanking everyone for the support shown, like we said. So uh, we will refer your issue to our congressional delegation to see if they can be helpful. Okay? Thank you so much. Um, to, uh, we have one more speaker? Okay. As you've heard, I mean. Thank you. As you've heard, that's one of the, you know, that's just one sad story. There's so many more of these, and we can all play a huge role in helping the situation there. Um, next, we'll have Errol Ekyuruk. He is the president of New York Turkish American Center. He'll share a few words about his um, relief efforts on the ground. My name is Erol Akurek. I'm a Turkish American uh, community le leader, and we're located in 130 Sunrise Highway, Amityville, New York. Again, my friend used to say a couple of words, like the beginning. He 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 got his dream, come to the United States. You know, he he reached his dream, but uh, we've been living in this country almost like like the very long time, and we do like part of this, this country. But we background in Turkey, now they suffering that's the earthquake. I have again uh, we really appreciate any effort uh, help you guys doing for us and our communities. And we've been doing like the all the other uh, the communities also we work together. The, like the past, and we did a lot of work for the, our communities in the past, like the pandemic, Hurricane Sandy's, and we worked together all the years. And now, times to help in Turkish people. And w anything you guys help, we really appreciate for that, and thank you very much. And God bless you guys all. God bless America. You. You introduce the prayer, and then I have uh, uh, something for the Council General. Okay. All right. Before uh, so we'll end with a prayer, and uh, before I do, I just want to share that I will actually be going on the ground to help with the relief efforts. So I will stay in touch with the county and um, the team on the ground. <laughs> we were actually going there for a family wedding, so plans have changed, but I'm more than happy to be there to help and raise awareness. So um, now I'll uh, hand it over to Imam Mohammed Sonmez from Mimar Sinan Masjid to lead us in a prayer. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين ولا تقولوا لمن يقتل في سبيل الله أموات 
بل أحياء ولكن لا تشعرون ولا نبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين الذين إذا أصابتهم مصيبة قالوا قالوا إنا لله وإنا إليه راجعون صدق الله العظيم الفاتحة Thank you. Thank you. It's always important to have words of spirituality and prayer. Thank you so much for that prayer. Um, at this time, I'd like to call up the Consul General again. Consul General Oscar. Excuse me. This is the flag of Nassau County, as you can see. Um, we'd like you to send it to Turkey. Before I take any questions, I want to say happy birthday to Carolyn Gussoff. Uh, <laughs> who is our outstanding reporter here on Long Island. Happy birthday. Uh, any questions from the media? Carolyn, you get the first question. Thank you. Uh, specifically, maybe to the gentleman from the Red Cross, what is the best single thing that people can do? Would you say money to the Red Cross or really research it on your own? What do you think the single most? Well, I think I, 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 we're going to get him to answer the question, but I think the point made today is that there are a lot of things they need, but as Americans, probably the best thing we can do is make a monetary contribution so that they can buy the things that they need and so that we don't give them too much of one thing and not enough of the other. Uh, and I also, uh, Jeff Provado reminded me to caution everybody, the reason we have the Red Cross here is, unfortunately, there are some very evil people in the world and they profit off of things like that. So just be careful of scams. That's why we have the Red Cross here. Jose, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Please, please. Yes, uh, the Consul maybe, General would like to from, that. From our experience in the last, last two weeks for relief uh, collection, the monetary contribution has a direct, immediate impact. So uh, we uh, highly recommend to make monetary contribution to have the immediate impact. With the monetary contribution, you can see uh, the result of your donation immediately. And we have the uh, also uh, legal organizations in the United States, Turkish-based organizations, who are collecting money legally, and uh, this money is used properly back in Turkey. So I would, I would uh, humbly encourage you all the people who would like to donate with them to go with the monetary contribution. Thank you, Council Thank General. You. And is there a website that they can go to that Turkey has uh, for those donations? So from our part, as an official uh, announcement, we have the uh, Turkish Embassy's uh, announcement back in DC. You can follow the Turkish Embassy's uh, website and you can find the uh, necessary information for the monetary contribution. Jose, did you want to add anything? I don't think so. I think he, he said everything. Excellent. Morning. Good, good. Okay, uh, any other questions from the media? All right, we will have a, a closing prayer. Arush, would you please introduce our...
We will have a closing prayer by Imam Sefa. He is the senior Imam of Sulaymaniyah Mosque and Community Development Director of the United American Muslim Association. If we can all rise for prayer, please. <clears throat> Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi al-tayyibin al-tahirin ajma'in bi rahmatika ya rahman rahimin. All praise and gratitude to you, the creator of the worlds and heavens. Peace and blessings be upon the first man and first prophet Adam and all the prophets that have come after him, such as Abraham, Noah, David, Joseph, Jesus, and Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon all of them. Dear Lord, we know we are weak. We know we are desperate. You are the one that is strong, that is mighty. So we call upon you to hear and accept our prayers. You have mentioned in your Quranic declaration that believers are all brothers and sisters. Please unite us all as an ummah, as a nation. Your final messenger, the beloved prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, taught us that us as a nation are like a body. If a single place hurts, that the whole body would feel the pain. Although we are not under rubble, although we are alive and breathing, although we didn't live and experience this tragedy, we are indeed hurt. We know we always ask you to give to us out of your infinite treasure of abundance. We know we are unworthy of asking, but we have no one else to ask besides you, O Lord. So, dear Lord, master of the world and universe, know now we are not asking for ourselves, but we are asking for you to please give to those that were physically, mentally, and emotionally harmed. For those that have started their journey in the hereafter, give them ease. For those that are yet to be rescued, please give them a safe immediately. Ya Rab, our dear Lord and Creator, do not test us with tests, trials, and tribulations that we cannot prosper in. Protect and preserve every being on this earth, not only us as humans, but animals, our planet, our environment as a whole. Ya Allah, do not test us with distress, illness, and with our loved ones. Please give to those in financial distress of financial aid. Give to those that are emotionally hurt love and compassion. Give to those that are sick, urgent cure. Give to those that are in dire need of a helping hand, a helping hand. O oh Allah, you are forgiving, generous. You love to forgive, forgive us too. O oh Allah, give us good in this world and the hereafter and save us from the punishment of fire. O oh Allah, we ask you for guidance, piety, chastity, and a wealthy heart. Ya Rab, please bless our community community, our country, our people with peace and prosperity. Ya Rab, continue to bless us, our country, the people, and the whole entire world. Ya Allah, help us remember you, be grateful to you, to worship you in a great way. Forgive all of our sins that may prevent our prayers from being accepted and answered. Dear Lord, please accept our prayers. Amin. Um, that concludes our official program, but we have one of our residents who lost family members in Turkey, and she would like to say something. So we are so sorry for you, and thank you for joining with us today. It must be very difficult for you. Please. Um, I'm just so happy that I'm here, and I got here on time. I'm sorry. I was... The Uber was late, so, you know, everything happens for a reason. But um, my sister and my brother-in-law and my two wonderful nephews and, and his mom passed away in such a tragic event. And me and my parents are left behind, and the moments and the memories linger every day, every angle that we are in our home. We are truly hurting. Although we lost our family members, we understand that there are still people that are waiting to be rescued. And we are broken 
And just like we are broken, we are broken for our family and we are broken for them. I had hopes to share my milestones with my sister. She was my older sister. I had hopes to see her and have her watch me graduate for my master's program one day. But I do know and I want to share with everyone here, anyone who knew my family members, they knew how impactful they were in the community. And that's what keeps us composed. That's what keeps us going. That's what keeps our hearts strong. Brock, my brother-in-law, and Kimberly, my sister, truly were inspirations in this world. I always say, when I find myself breaking down in my room by myself, I always say that we are Muslims and we firmly believe that they were perfect and perfection does not exist in this world, but they were perfect. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you are done, your mission is complete in this dunya. So let's go. So they are shaheeds and that is what keeps our hearts calm. But I understand the pain is there and I understand that crying is normal and crying is okay. But I understand also that I have to be strong for them because they would not want me to be like this. They would want me to be happy for them. They are in a good place. Um, and I will continue to follow their footsteps and on behalf of them continue to do good towards the community. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has left me the biggest mission on my shoulders for my parents as well. There's so much to do in this dunya. This dunya is just an illusion because the real world is in Jannah. I want to thank everyone from the bottom of our broken hearts. My dad is here. My mom is here. And it's just us. But we are we are, we are really, really keeping strong because that is what's left to do. Um, so everything I will do in my life is on behalf of my brother-in-law, who is practically my brother, who knows me since I was 14 years old, and my sister, and our two beautiful, beautiful angels. So thank you, everyone. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward everyone's efforts. Everyone truly. Thank you. We're, we can't imagine the sorrow and grief for your family. And if it gives you any comfort, there are over a million people here in Nassau County who will be praying for your family and for you. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much.